and I would like to invite Mrs. Vandana Gandhi, Chair of British Orchard Nursery. You are very welcome. Can I have the last speaker? No. Okay. Since it's the end of the afternoon, and since I'm from a nursery school education area in the early years, may I request for all of us to, uh, you know, coordinate and cooperate with me, and just let let's be a little more active. Can we all stand up? I think after two hours of sitting, our bodies need it. So if we stand up, it'll help us physically, mentally, and if you can follow me a bit, I like that. The man is stretching already. So maybe we can stretch, turn our necks, rotate your necks around, okay, and that will help all of us. If you would like to shake your hands a bit, right hand up, follow me and listen to what I'm trying to say, left hand up, hold your ear, who all held their noses? I said hold your ear. <laughs> this is what we do. We tend to follow what we see. Okay, it's a small little game. <laughs> um, can I have the video? Just to tell you about the early years education, all the children in the preschool tend to follow what their teachers do. And this is what life in general is all about. I do support uh, Professor Ms. John, who spoke in the morning, I mean, in the afternoon, about technology interfering with personal tutoring and the effect of technology, you know, interfering with the student's mind. So, you know, following a teacher, listening to the classrooms, uh, you know, setting of teachers and guidance is so important. Do we have the video on the presentation? a small little day in the life of a preschooler, taking you back into early years. Uh, to talk on the innovation into any company, uh, I think it requires, of course, the strength of leadership and change management. Just to tell you about our schools in UAE, I come from Dubai, and it is neighboring to Oman. I'm going to praise Oman and say that. And uh, yes, it's famous for its shopping. However, in education, UAE has taken a big leap. Many universities and schools uh, have also flourished there. There are huge systems in place uh, for inspections, etc., and it's become a multinational hub, housing 200 nationalities of expatriates. So culturally, it is very difficult to handle knowledge economy of such nature. Uh, the creative workforce in the company, as I spoke to Professor John this afternoon, and it is a challenge to handle uh, the teaching staff as well. However, it is interesting because this is what is important for our social capital and early years cannot be ignored. We do a lot of training at British Orchard Nurseries. Again, we have partnered with CASH, which is under Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, you know, it's a pet project for the UK systems here for, for, offering, for offering diplomas for early years uh, education uh, teachers because um, it requires um, I mean, obviously, a training and a practice. So we have taken cash. Again, you've got the points mentioned over there in which we would like to help teachers across Dubai, UAE. We have nurseries in Abu Dhabi and Sharjah, too, to understand the UK systems. And they come from Asia, Europe, or America, Australia, etc. But they bring back their degrees from those countries. And then possibly, uh, you know, it may have interference with the UIFS. So we offer diplomas, and we are authorized to uh, you know, sign for it and help the teaching workforce. Moms can be teachers with a one-year diploma, and of course they have to have the pre basic requirements for the diplomas. But this is helping in vocational education, education, which is so important for the secondary income for a household.
British Orchard Nursery from the United Arab Emirates and the CEO, Vandana Gandhi. Ms. Vandana Gandhi, Chief Executive Officer of British, uh, British Orchard uh, Nursery. It's Good evening. Good evening. It's my pleasure to communicate with you, uh, to see you here uh, at this forum. And uh, Ms. Gandhi, uh, could you be so kind to tell me, what are your company's main achievements? Uh, first of all, thank you for having us over here in London at the European Business Assembly and it's a privilege to have won the awards uh, today evening. The company has done well in the last one decade and we've won many awards on EFQM which is European Foundation for Quality uh, and uh, by the UAE government uh, for quality development, human development, for customer service, employee engagement. So a nursery school chain which has all women employees has gone on to receive more than 20 national and international awards. So British Orchard Nurseries, we are very proud of our ISO certifications for occupational health and environment and we contribute towards environment and CSR also. So uh, you have achieved already great results. Yes. What drives your success? I think it's the team spirit, the culture at British Orchard Nurseries, the UAE's atmosphere you know, that is provided to women to work harder, the government of UAE that supports working women conducive to success uh, in whatever we choose to do. The policies are very, uh, you know, it suits all the women. The government policies, the transparency, the safety, the happiness levels in UAE. It helps all the working women. So to start a business for the children and for the working women was easy for me. And as a founder and CEO of British Orchard Nurseries, I think I should thank the UAE government. We have to thank the economy. Uh, even the need that working women require a good place for young children. So if I got you right, uh, you also get uh, support from the government, yes? We don't get support financially, but we get support with good laws, mm -hmm. good policies, ease of working, uh, you know, uh, innovation model of the UAE government, where the, I mean, the government encourages ideas, helps you to uh, you know, believes in your expansion. So at British Orchard Nurseries, we are now 15 branches in UAE, and we are also, uh, you know, partnered with the government with nurseries, uh, where we have nurseries inside government offices. So we support working women to come back to work, okay, once they have the children. It's easy for them to work when they know the child has been taken care of in the same building. So we help young mothers to get back into work. I think it's a very important, it's, uh, very important. it's very important for the women to get back. Otherwise, they will drop off and they will lose the career ground. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult to come back after five, 10 years. And then that whole human capital is lost. So if we can provide, I think all countries in the world, the government should step up and support working women. So UAE government supports the government working women and provide subsidized childcare to the government employees. Mm -hmm. And what about your future plans and targets? Uh, we're happy to grow in Middle East and we've already achieved the status of being the largest nursery chain in UAE. 
and of course with expansion already in the UAE chalked out we're happy with the growth there year on year uh, looking at the growth we would like to offer our services to Middle East and Asia and conferences like these networking forums help us to take our product to different parts of the world to tell people in today's conference when I spoke on the early year sector that's to tell everybody that you need to support the women employees have workplace nurseries look after the maternity issues of women and this will go a long way for human resource management in companies this will help again human capital knowledge economy balancing of women and men in the workplace so I think early years education is important for working women, for governments, for economies in general, but also the most important is the child. Research proves that 50% of brain development happens in the first five years. Early years cannot be compromised. The child should be well taken care of. At British Orchard Nurseries, we follow UK national curriculum, EYFS. We have an in-house research developed model of assessment Every one two-year-old child gets a 680 assessment points in Incredible. three years. So 680 points, the child is being checked on, oh, assessed, guided. The child will definitely learn so much more in a quality nursery. So yes, it's important. And the society will be. Another, society yes. will benefit. Really also, benefit. research proves that if you have early intervention for high-quality studies, the child will become a confident learner. So when they go to primary school, secondary school, they are building on the knowledge and intelligence. It's the basis of society. The basis of society. So we are, we are, we are creating future leaders yes. and early years is a starting point. I'm happy to be in this field. I love uh, the field of early years. I'm currently doing my PhD in early years and I hope to see a lot of economies, governments look into early years and help the society. Ms. Gandhi, and what about your business assembly? Uh, how does EBA Award encourage you? I think EBA is a great platform for uh, knowledge sharing. So today morning when we had the presentation and uh, we saw so many uh, companies present from oil and gas to banking to hospitals to universities, schools, uh, you had uh, different companies present ideas, innovation concepts, engineering concepts. Uh, it helps us to take the best practices back to our countries. So EBA helps in a networking platform, idea sharing, uh, future thought process of what's there for the future. So, you know, all the leaders, when we meet here today, we think on the betterment of our companies, of the countries we take back and we share the good practices. I think it's a great forum. I was telling Professor John Netting and, and, and Dr. Vincenzo that it's a great place for uh, you know, quality sharing of ideas. And it's done in a very classical English way with its old charm. So we feel we're in a holiday mood and yet we're enjoying our work. So thank you. I think EBA is doing a good job and I look forward to coming again. Uh, thank you for your activities and thank you for your attempts. Thank you. Uh, for your smile, you know, because <laughs> thank you. Uh, everything uh, goes from the heart. Yes. And I feel it also. Thank and you. I do wish you from the depths of my heart all the best in any activities of yours. Thank you very much. Really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for the awards today. Thank you for the medal. <laughs> and thank you for the organization and the lovely function we've had today. Thank you appreciate very so it. much. Thank you. Thank you.